Yes, I've spoken to the Home Office. They say there's no possible grounds to pass an Act of Parliament to allow this particular dog into Britain. I know an enabling act can enable anything, but the Prime Minister feels it would merely enable him to lose the next election. <laughs> Have you thought about turning the whole of Buckingham Palace into a quarantine zone for dogs? Are you serious? Just a thought. What about the corgis? Oh. Hang on. Uh, Graham, uh, phone the palace now and check that Her Majesty's not been told officially that this gift has been proposed. Then she can't be implicated in refusing it. Yes. Uh, yes, we will want simultaneous translators. Uh, no, not when the PM meets the leaders of the English-speaking nations. Uh, yes, the English-speaking nations can be said to include the United States. A certain generosity of spirit. Sorry, I've got to go. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, there are about ten Prime Ministers flying in today. Special branch are going crazy. So is the band of the Royal Marines, who've got to play all the national anthems. <laughs> oh, I see. Thanks. Argentina's not coming. That's a bit of luck. Because of the Falcon? Uh, no, because their anthem goes on for about six minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look, I know you're worried about this dog. I'm worried about it too. Look, talk to our ambassador in Paris. See if he can think of a way to nobble it. <laughs> well, you know, slip it something. <laughs> See if the Bulgarians have got any spare umbrella to. <laughs> but there is one possibility. Make Buckingham Palace notionally an extension of the French Embassy. Then the dog would still be on foreign territory. Peter, the PM is fighting for the sovereignty of the Channel Tunnel. How do you think he feels about the sovereignty of Buck House? <laughs> How do you think the Sovereign feels about the sovereignty of Buck House? Yes. Uh, no, we can't have alphabetical seating in the Abbey. You'd have Iraq and Iran next to each other. <laughs> Plus, Israel and Jordan all sitting in the same pew. <laughs> would be in danger of starting World War III. I know Ireland begins with an I, but no. Ireland doesn't make it any better. Ireland doesn't make anything any better. Uh, and by the way, make sure everyone knows if the papal envoy says we desire to wash our hands, it means he wants to go and have a pee. <laughs> yeah, it's a royal we. Followed by a royal flush. Oh, and watch out for these South Africans. Problems with human rights? Uh, no, they're trying to unload more grapefruit. <laughs> Bernard, Bernard, the palace wants to know if there's a problem about the red carpets, and Her Majesty is worried that the president of the Ivory Coast wishes to award her with the Order of the Elephant. Hang on. Graham, we can't have another animal, especially an elephant. <laughs> the whole of Whitehall, the Home Office, Foreign Office, Cabinet Office, the DHSS, we've all been tied up with one puppy for nearly a week. Government's been paralysed. No elephants. <laughs> no, the correct mode of address to a citrate archbishop is not your ecstasy, it's your beatitude. <laughs> for God's sake, yes, what is it? Oh, sorry, Prime Minister. I'm coming straight away. 